Good the morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mother's father's daughter's sons, brothers and sisters. It has been several months since I last made a video. I have decided to make, as you can see, a compound video. Why have I been quiet for a while? Um, several reasons. To be honest, I kind of lost the enthusiasm to do the Wacky Random Challenge. It's, it's just run its course. Even in VR, it's, it's done, I think. Till the next Project Cars or something comes out, I might revisit it. We will see. Uh, got too busy. Uh, F1 Esports is very much underway. That, at the time of recording, is coming to an end at the end of November. So I'll have more time for recording and what have you. I am contemplating coming back to streaming. We will see. Been some changes in the house as well. You might realise I'm pacing around a little bit, which I never was able to do. And that is because the rig is moved. I'm now in the lounge, which has several benefits, not least of which is I now have room for room scale VR, which for those unaware of what that means, instead of standing, so I was rooted to one spot, I now have a bit more room and I don't hit anything because I have this grid, which you can't see in the recording, I don't think. Um, this grid appears that tells me when I get into the edge of my room scale space, which because it's, it's as small as it can be, I want the absolute bare minimum. Uh, I'm constantly bringing up the grid. So Compound, a game I put a fair amount of hours in. I've completed the game on easy, so I'm now on normal. As I'm recording, that's the latest version, that's the latest thing that's been introduced. Sticky grenade launcher, not a fan of it personally. Also have mutations, which I will go through when I actually do them for this recording. The gun room I didn't actually notice that happen. Let's crack on. So it's been a long time since I've done any recording of any description of Compound. Last time I recorded for Compound, the helicopter boss had just been introduced. And that was several months ago. So hopefully I'm better than I was then. Lovely, one of my favourite guns, the Assault Rifle. Also remember that recording got very, very lagged towards the end. <laughs> Lovely. And the biggest advantage of room scale. It might sound obvious it's not just the fact that there's more space you have confidence or confidence you should drift. And that can make a hell of a difference. I still hate those damn drones. Oh, we better go that way. So you're not kind of really tentatively going to the edge of your face. I know when I'm at the edge of my game space, you don't have that kind of... You don't have something in standard, or a human seated either, that tells you when you're at the edge of your space. I'm forever hitting the freezer. That not only got annoying, but it was cut me off for what I was trying to do. So I know that if I reach the boundary, it's going to get tracked in which direction I'm facing in, but that's fairly relevant. As far as what near my boundary is. I still have the cable problem though, so I do have to kind of do that. Yeah, rotate around to untangle myself. But that isn't going to ever resolve itself until I, if I ever get wireless VR uh, headset, which is not going to happen in a hurry, if ever at all. Yes. I am contemplating the return of streaming, but only when F1 Esports is done. I am currently doing four commentaries a week, three of which are F1 Esports related. So... Oh, wait. Oh, I hit the turn. So damn hard to hit. 
Oh, I managed to shoot the drone. Well, something has shot the drone. So when F1 Esports is done, which I have to say is at the end of November, well, it's technically early December, but for my involvement is early November, uh, I'm contemplating Getting back into streaming. So it will be VR related stuff, it's not likely to be anything racing related. We'll see. We will see. But as for this, I just fancy making a recording. It's been a long time. Very long, way, very long time since I've done one. Now it doesn't quite appear so in the recording, but I am actually using the sun of the gun. Oh, you fine. That was cheeky. Now I don't have green screen, I don't have a camera, so. If I do choose to stream VR stuff, it would be just the, the actual game footage. It wouldn't be me actually doing the necessary actions. I still marvel at the fact that they just blindly fire into an area that they last saw the enemy, as opposed to where the enemy actually is. Well, that's slightly an unusual tactic. So this video isn't necessarily a precursor to anything. This is purely high fancy to making a recording of me playing compound. And you could say this is a bit of a channel update. But it is quite likely I will not do any more racing related videos. Like I say, nothing is decided as yet. We will see. Gotcha. Fairly quick at reloading various guns these days. The thing with compound is you can be utterly screwed over by bad gun. Which way, you, which way are you going, sir? Uh, I'm not likely to get that before it fades out. Oh. Oh, well, I was 19 rounds for the shotgun, not too worried. Okay. Still haven't had any health. One of the biggest changes from easy to normal, besides the fact that you only have three health, is that health spawns so infrequent. <laughs> Let's see what gun we've got up here. Guns of the same colour tend to be sharing the same ammo, so I'd have seven reloads for that. No, I prefer the assault rifle over the Uzi. Or submachine gun, call it as you will. The biggest issue I'm going to have with streaming or any kind of content creation is the same one as it always is, time. I don't have a lot of it. I'm not likely to gain a lot of it in the short term. 
though, probably in the long term. It's all ifs and buts and maybes at the moment. Hopefully it won't be another, I don't know how many months it's been since I last made a video. Three months or so. bad start. So if I'm still on two health, you take health much more seriously when you only have three and burgers spawn much less frequently. Oh, hello, Bombot. <laughs> I cannot tell you how satisfying it is when the drones die to what I call the Bombots, the explosive drones. I would prefer the laser rifle instead of the shotgun, but I'll use what I have. Hey! The soldiers will lead, try and kind of intercept you with their shots, the drones not so much. I'm glad I noticed I had zero well, it's left enough to click it, but down on the D-pad's not, so work, well, not working so well again, I've noticed recently. I have successfully um, fixed my controllers a few times. I was even successful in fixing the of my controllers. Thank you. I went uh, to a friend of mine's land up in Scotland, which shall we say is a considerable distance from where I live. Double check that I haven't had a physical problem. That was a bit weird. I took the headset off and I was not facing at all where I thought I was going to. It's not very easy to kind of get lost essentially. I'm still recording, everything is going well. Lovely, lovely. <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. Also, weirdly, I, I think it's purely coincidental. I still having less tracking problems. That was close. Those are some of the most dangerous enemies in the game, those purple drones. Didn't need both rounds, I can't use a shotgun. But... <coughs> That didn't go as well as I had hoped. The revolver, one of the new guns implemented probably since I last recorded. Again, pink, so share the same ammo as this. I'm gonna grab it. I don't, I'm not very good with this. Six shots, very powerful. Okay, I'm just gonna. 
In demonstrating the uh, revolver, sadly I lost it. But never mind. Okay. Lovely, especially when I get one of those very early on. As you see, it can take a very long time for those burgers to respawn. Uh, oh, tangled. <laughs> I killed him on the last shot of that clip. Yeah. Got him stuck. Yeah. He's got him stuck in the doorway. That rather helped in that situation. Oh dear! Didn't reload the shotgun, did I? Back to two! so easily. Shotguns really is not that effective when you're. Where's my gun going? There we go. There was me saying I don't have any tracking issues and I'm now having several. Why is going on? Where am I still in the room? I shouldn't be having tracking issues. For some reason. Typically, I would record it when Arthro said I'm having less tracking issues. Give me that. That was close. I didn't actually mean to reload that, but never mind. Two health. Come on. Yes! That was more luck than judgment getting another bug. There's a bomb lot down here somewhere. I am normally dead by now. I don't normally last as long in normal. I might like the game, I might have put a decent number of rounds into it. Doesn't mean I'm any good at it. Did not I just that there? Ha! 
<laughs> I love that. I don't remember seeing that sign there before. There's a little tank in here somewhere. There it is. Oh, oh there's a walker in here. The orange ones, in my opinion, are less dangerous because they take quite a, a while to fire. Whereas the blue ones fire fairly rapidly. Or comparatively rapidly. Oh, back up to full health. Come on. Still would rather have the laser rifle. Uh, I just find it a more versatile weapon. These things unfortunately still get stuck in doors. As you can see. A revolver. I am no good with it. I will be ignoring it. Another walk alive somewhere. Oh, nice headshot there. Oh no. Oh dear. I am in deeply doo-doo. Now can you stop me? She's like doing it, it's a little cheeky. This is my son that found that. My nine year old found that. <laughs> I don't like using it, it is a really cheap way of getting through this game, but it's how my son has managed to finish this game, albeit on easy pistols only. Shotgun again. Ah, not full health again. Okay, so back in here we've already been. Stopped on ammo is crucial for this game. Oh no, no. That didn't work at all. Only one house and there's a walker somewhere. Oh, thank you. Maybe I should record more often considering how much more health I'm getting in this run than I normally do. <laughs> Oh. 
super soldiers are also pretty dangerous. They take more damage. They fire much more. Come on, little tank. <laughs> Close to my boundary there. I don't often shoot the bomb box. Ooh, that was close. Far easier just to aggro them and let them destroy themselves. It's often quite fun to kill enemies with them. to see you or you hit them in order to aggro them. He still hasn't seen me there, Walker. He has, however. It is a shame that door box still exists. Yeah, that has been around for a long time, that one. Ow! Ow, oh, you swine. Terrific. Oh, yes. Ooh. I do like the music for this one. That's enough of that. It's often very difficult to get started. Oh my goodness me. He's stuck. <gasps> Perfect timing. Shame I have no don't have a lot of ammo for it, but Oh dear. I love the laser rifle more than the shotgun. Don't get me wrong, every weapon has its... That's a minus point. <laughs> I thought there was more than one stamping around. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I prefer the laser rifle. You can't hold many clips for it, unfortunately, at least five. 
And it does take, it does have that little charge up time and tangled up again. Surprisingly, the last level before the helicopter boss is Gouch. Come on. Another word for pig. I think 
they fire faster as well, there's orange walkers. Not too worried about ammo, it's, it's more health I'm concerned with. This should be empty. Oh! I then. I don't actually know what happened there. Right. Uh, I'd rather have full health going to the helicopter boss, but there we go. I think this is the first time I've actually got here on normal. Drop a bombs on me. Hopefully they will drop some health. Here they come. I don't actually know if they do drop health. Didn't see where he'd gone. Damn it. Oh, so close, so close to binging that on normal. It doesn't even get me started on hard. Okay. The three mutators we have at the point of recording are Gun Magnet. Every enemy drops weapons, but there are no ammo drops. Except for the helicopter boss. There is a change for that, which I don't know what it is because I've never got that far on normal. Um, I, I did do this on easy, but I can't remember how. Um, damage amplifier, everything dies in one shot, including you. And people populator is enemies have less health. Your bullets are faster, there's more enemies. Uh, let's go with green, because that's my favourite colour. Now, if you'd put the wrong mutator on, you'd stand in the shower and press the button. But I did pick the right one. Okay. 
So as the description says, there's no reloads. And most enemies, not all, drop guns. So what I tend to do is that I hold the pistol in the arm hand. I have two guns. I tend to be... less conservative of ammo too. This in um, damage magnifier is really overpowered the dark gun. See how the bullet rotated then? Homing rounds in this and make the makes for a brilliant um, drone killer. I tend not to last too long with the, the mutated versions of the game as I tend to rush too much. The no reload thing tends to make the green weapons far less effective. Well, do. <laughs> far too satisfying. I do try and hang on to you know, a crowd control weapon and a heavy hitter. I always keep a pistol because uh, too many times I've been stuck with no ammo. Uh, okay, the power was unnecessary, but good fun. I'm still probably the worst with the grenade launcher. It's the standard one as opposed to the sticky one. We still haven't seen the sticky one, interestingly. <laughs> and just as I say that, I've just spotted it. And there it is, the sticky grenade launcher. I'm not very good with this thing. Oh, lots of laser rifles. Nothing more around here. Oh dear. Damn. So even in this mod you can still be screwed over by come on, get this right. You can still be screwed over by gun. I want to say gun placements, gun drops, I should say. Oh, right. to hold the pistol, so I can switch between the two guns I'm trying to use quickly without muddling the pistol in it. What do 
we leave up here. Nothing I want to use now. I, you could always pick up the ones from the gun cabinet, but uh, from the gun box rather, but Sod's Law dictates you'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere. So you stick the bombs on and pop. <laughs> Ooh, did I need that? Uh. Oh. combination better than nothing I don't tend to beeline for the gun you still get a, a gun per uh, every other level I missed a point that range I did say I suck with this thing Don't the fact fire all these rounds past the bomb box oh now you notice I'm here Yay for the power boxes. That's more like it. Ah, the one downside of holding a gun in your off hand. You can't use, because I use my left hand for, for moving around, you can't hold backwards, because down is uh, what pops the cliff out. That's not like it. Okay. Got it, I didn't beat the helicopter boss. I was so close. Also, one thing they removed from this level was the forklift sound. It always used to bug me, that thing. It always made you thought there was something happening when there wasn't. Oh, thank you, Nailgun. <laughs> Oh, I don't have another gun. Not ideal, but it'll do. Oh yeah. One downside of the nail guns is really not very powerful. I think it makes the pistol much less effective on higher difficulty levels is it overheats faster. Uh oh. Ooh, that was close. Ow! Now what? <laughs> um, that one. Yes. Two health, okay. Stop it. That's why you have to be very, very vigilant 
in when you check corners. Um, I'm equally terrible with both of those. Green might be my favourite colour, but it is, as far as these guns are concerned, I am least effective with. Well, you can do with a sticky, sticky grenade launcher is kind of set up traps. idea how satisfying it is to be able to blind fire the drones like that. It's not that bad being able to blind fire the soldiers either. down to final round in the clip. Um let's have you and it. There's a lot of mini tanks around. knows. Did not work as well as I thought it would. Oh, I dropped the assault rifle. Never mind. Submachine gun somewhere. Where was it? Not you. No. Oh, never mind. I'm sure there'll be another one. Two health. Oh, 
Was it that uh, trusting of me that? To just walk into the room without knowing there wasn't anyone else in it? shouldn't have said that. <laughs> uh, that's enough for this one I think. Thank you very much for watching, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Can't promise I'm going to get back into regular content co uh, creation at this point, but who knows what the future holds. Until then, thank you very much and good.